This is dangerous. Whee! That's not even close to them, Super Mario Bros. Death noise. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. And Mario 64 didn't even have one. It only had a game mm -hmm. over noise. Did you, do you know anything, or have you heard about that one Mario 64 hack that's just like a bunch of letters and numbers? B3313. Yeah, that. You said you didn't want to play it till it finished, but I feel like there's no point, because it's already huge, and once yeah. you play it once, you wouldn't want to play it again anyway. I, I started watching somebody play it, and I'm like, I would fucking hate playing this goddamn game. I would be too annoyed to be scared by anything. Part of the novelty of it is that it pretty faithfully recreates a bunch of levels that were seen during pre-release footage. Oh god. I won't deny the high amount of effort put in, but it's like a 140 star hack. And like, there's every level only has like two stars in it. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to 100%. But the fact that there is like a, a, a round number of stars is what confuses me. But I'm supposed to play through it and experience it and then stop. I know the whole point is that you're constantly being thrown into new areas and the game just goes on forever, but it would just annoy the shit out of me. I'd be like, I spent 20 minutes getting to this level and I'm never going to see it again because I fell off the world. Yeah, I like, I like that because it makes it feel like you're playing a dream game. I'm sure it does accurately represent playing a game in your dreams. Whoa! Whoa. Careful, God, I look at myself. Sweet. Hooray, I got almost doubled my uh, total points. Oh yeah, another thing about B3313 is that I find the use of red fog kind of corny. <laughs> like, the, I thought, like, I always I figured the game is supposed to be unnerving because of the endless amount of content the game seems to have, but then occasionally they'll just be like a, a, a wide open room with a red fog and spooky music, and I feel like that kind of <laughs> I didn't even know. defeats the purpose. Like, I thought we were being more cerebral, or not just being a creepypasta, unironically. I was re-watching the old uh, Sonic Adventure 2 videos, and I remember one thing. You said that you were wondering if uh, the fact that the two stories in Adventure 2 are... that are... like, the fact that they're the same story is supposed to be... like, might be a surprise. Right. After thinking about it, I... I don't think that can be true. There's nothing in either story that would indicate that they're not happening simultaneously. Like, there's, no, there's nothing that happens in either, aside from the background music being different in, like, the Knuckles and Rouge scene, for example. Well, it would only be a surprise for a very brief period of time. Where you start the game, it's like, oh, I can choose which side I'm on. But then... So you play one, and then as soon, pretty much as soon as you start the other one, you're like, uh. Oh, okay, that's what you mean. I thought you meant like it would be a surprise until you start Final Story. Speaking of Sonic Adventure 2, I just learned that the uh, Dreamcast version has a pretty f glaring bug in it. Being, see, you now you can reincarnate your chows. Yes, although I don't really know if it's if you can control it or not. So. Yeah, that's another thing. I don't think you can even control it, but if you take your reincarnated Chow to the Chow Doctor, he has a chance of telling you how many times he's reincarnated. But in the English version of the game, when you bring him to the Chow Doctor, the Chow Doctor, if he ends up saying that, he'll just say, your Chow is reincarnated a lot of times, and then as soon as you leave the room, you die. Like that. <laughs> you die? The game crashes. What the And that might also erase your save data. What? All because you took the chow to the doctor? It's because in the translated text, they fucked up that one string. And this is only in the English version in the Dreamcast version. Yep. Pretty glaring. That's, yeah. I that's... think. Also in the Dreamcast version, you know how when you pick up your chow, it shows their stats? Yeah. In the Dreamcast version, when you pick up your child, it just says their name, and that's it. 
What? I don't actually know how to view their stats. Doesn't it like that in Adventure 1 in all versions? I don't remember. That would be stupid though, considering DX came out after 2 battle. I remember the Chow Garden not being nearly as fleshed out. Oh fuck, I didn't want to do that. I didn't care about it in either game when I was a kid. So I have no idea. I was super into the Chow stuff in Adventure 2 and I really don't know why. I maxed, I, I did everything in racing, but I got fucked in the uh, karate. My coin count. Ah. 70? I don't understand. I'm not taking that. He's fishing boo. Well, he's not fishing boo, but he is. Oh. Or not fishing boo, fishing Lakathu. This is a hell land. <laughs> uh, Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. This is a reference to Mario 3. Whoa, he threw that shit backwards. He's like, get out of here, spiny. Oh. Why do I get all the water levels? I don't remember there being a water level in Forest of Illusion. Also, why does the... Like, why does the map open so slowly in this world? Is it lag because there's so many things on the screen, or is it just for flavor? I feel like it's because the Forest of Illusion isn't actually there. It's right there in the name. It's all an illusion. So it's probably just supposed to represent your eyes closing. Your eyes. <laughs> dying. Your brain making up things as it goes along. But the question is, what happened to Mario and Luigi that made them il illusionize a whole place? Oh, how do you think they kicked that uh, castle into the stratosphere? Or wait. Oh, they launched it like a rocket, never mind. They do kick a castle, though. Remember that one part in Mother 3 where the party takes mushrooms and has a really bad trip? Because uh, it's kind of like that. I think that. I already did this. What? I thought, didn't I? Wait. Hey, you haven't even been to this level. Uh, wait, that's weird. Why did I think that? <laughs> is there a ship? Oh, so I can kill him right now. <laughs> this sucks. What is this peach lich for? You're probably supposed to bring it Whoa. into the... There we go. Hooray! You're probably supposed to bring it into the pipe that I can't get into. Oh, it's, it's over. Wait... Oh! You have to basically get hey, the coins get to and collect the turn coins. Them into silver coins. The silver? What is with the silver coins? It's like a thing that's used twice in this game. And here's the first one. Why is collecting all the silver coins give you a one up? <laughs> I don't know. They, had, they put, had an idea, they put it in the game and realized it wasn't very fun. Never used it. <laughs> The game really goads you into thinking that the the Switch Palace blocks will have power-ups, but then only the first two do. Oh yeah, that's... that was always disappointing. Yeah. When the green one has a goddamn cape, it's like, holy shit, what else could be hiding here? Fuck. You, man. Nobody even likes you. <laughs> that's true. Oh, should I just like borrowed his car and then ran him over with it? <laughs> we call that the GTA. Gotcha. No, the fire or the life, the one of the fire in my eyes has burnt out. You're not even gonna take the cloud, you sicko. Man, I already got one drive. Oh god, I'm hitting the keyboard with my foot. I'm gonna start hacking you. Oh, what, what the heck is the P switch for? I'm taking the P with me. Do I'm it. going to the fortress because I'm doing all the hard levels for some reason. I, that was, I was doing all the hard levels earlier. I went on the big the big bridge with Gerugamesh. That's my LinkedIn profile. Name on ff-forums.net if you want to contact me. That's Get, the only way I respond. Gilgamesh. It's, 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 through DMs on fffforums.org. Gilgamesh98. My signature on my forum posts is. Um, we dress like ladies and men, and yes, men we dress like that. ladies. <laughs> or whatever his fucking line is. And my profile picture is Butts spreading his asshole in the camera. 
No, not the fame. But it's okay because I'm an admin and on the cert on the site, so I can have whatever profile picture I want. Not the Final Fantasy V Goatsy. <laughs> the classic. People weren't supposed to know about that. The spray. classic FFV Goatsy incident of 1999. Incident. A lot of people don't know this, but that was actually not a real one. I <laughs> made it up. A lot of people don't know this. I mean, all of it was real except for the goatsy thing. Because goatsy is in our hearts. Look at all those shit on the screen. He's drowning, by the way. You're just going to leave him to drown. He's trying to kill me. I don't give a shit what his problem is. That that sound was the SNES oh, fuck. representation of... <laughs> but instead, because they can only use whistles, they just kind of go... <laughs> the the population, the Mario populace can only communicate in whistlers. Canadians, rise up. This is an auto-scroller. No. Look, I can just fly. Ah! Oh, this is an auto I get it mind. There's no level that starts scrolling later. Right. I, 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 Fuck! I always, I Mario! I think it's an auto-scroller <laughs> because the background go, like starts moving as soon as you touch those platforms. I just trivialized that. Yeah, well, that's the cape for you. That's why this game needs a ROM hack that removes all capes. It's the exact same, but there's no capes. It makes well, I, getting honestly, a couple of alternate paths completely impossible. It would make it would make certain levels be like, wait a minute, I don't know how to do from the cape. You know, I'm thinking about it now that I have Yoshi. I'm pretty sure in the GBA version, once you went to the secret world. Um, and got the alternate colored Yoshis, or once you get to the Star Wars and unlock the alternate colored Yoshis, they could appear randomly in oh, place yeah. of regular Yoshi. Yeah, they... I kind of wish that's how it worked, because as it is, those Yoshis only appear in those those levels and nowhere else. If you want the blue Yoshi, you have to go to that water level. I remember Top Secret Area was extra broken because you could get blue Yoshis from it. Oh really? I didn't even think about that. What's uh, what's worse, yellow or red? Uh, red. Red is the worst because you can't recapture oh, yeah. shells. Yellow is just like useless, but red is. Oh, whoops. Just carry. Oh. Wait, see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It made the Super Mario All Stars press start and sound. Is the Mario Tornado supposed to represent the spin jump from this game? Maybe. In Smash. Look at this, Switch Palace. Yeah, you're welcome, by the way. You would have been dead. For some reason, if you're off screen and you pick up the feather, there's no, like, lag. <laughs> Who's over there? Probably, like, alive or something. <gasps> I can win the thing right now. The contest is mine. What the? It's a flying challenge. This is interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god, what is that? Wow, I was right. Jesus, is this all lives? Well, shit. That was pretty challenging. Why are they Why are they laid out so haphazardly? Oh wait, no, they're not. There's actually a pattern to it. There is. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's like symmetrical. I've never seen this before. I don't think I have either. <sighs> Here, you have 80 seconds to beat Reznor. I will succeed against Reznor. Or Schmeckens, or whatever you call him. Oh, what? He's laughing at you. You remember what these up and down ghosts are called? No. What? Booleans. No, that... That sucks. <laughs> wow. Something that sh that's called boolean should be something that's just off or on, right? Like a light bulb. I don't know what a fucking boolean is. Boolean means one or zero. Well, at least. I thought it was binary. What's your favorite Mario sprite? Not not like individual like pose. I mean, just like how favorite two D Mario. I guess. Whoa. I like Paper Mario. Yeah. I hadn't thought about that for some reason. What the fuck? Did you see that? He was just unable to jump. See, I was gonna say my favorite sprite is when he has that really freaked out face where his eyes go white. Oh, wait, in Paper Mario? Yeah. But 
Like when he gets killed or something, like his head chopped off, he's, he's just like, oh! And he doesn't use that sprite, but if he gets the quiz question wrong, he's like... <sighs> yeah, that, that sprite is very... It's like not, not used for anything. And the next quest is to 99 lives. You just do it. I just do this infinitely? Okay, I'm not gonna... The quest to 99 lives seems kind of redundant. I feel like whoever got to 40 or 50 first is kind of a shoe-in. <laughs> you never know. What even is the point of lives if you have this many? Um... You can say that about any game. I think it's in like Crash Bandicoot 2 or something, you can have... It's pretty easy to get 99 lives before like the game is even halfway done. Whoa! Boing, boing. Yeah, Whoa. that overworld Yoshi is disturbing. His <laughs> eyes are bugging the fuck out. I don't know why they're very reminiscent of the gears from Gizmos and Gadgets. <laughs> 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 I don't like oh that you could do gosh. that so well. Why? It's, it's fun to do. <laughs> it's freaky. Alright, what's your favorite 3D Mario? I can smell him. <laughs> Whoa. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Uh, okay, favorite three Mario is, and that counts like <sighs> non Mario games like Smash Bros or whatever. Super Smash Brothers sixty four Mario. Really? I don't know. Probably he makes his fist really big. <laughs> he does. That would probably be my, mine. Mario is Smash sixty four Mario, or like Mario Party one through three Mario. Oh fuck. <laughs> What's the best castle music? In the series? Is it this or... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I find the Mario 3 one like funny. Why is it funny? I don't know. It, it's kind of uh, creepy. It's kind of disappointing that the final castle still uses this music. Yeah. There's a final boss song, but not only... There's more boss music than uh, castle music, which is weird in a platformer. I like the uh, the remix of the final boss music from Super Mario Kart more than this version. Because <laughs> it's more, like, insane sounding. <laughs> it's insane sounding. Oh my god. Oh, thank god I got through that one try. When I was playing this game uh, with another person, uh, it took us like an hour to get past that goddamn. Just don't thing. die on this. Yeah, guy. I just have to not die here. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Who was that again? Roy. Oh, why was he purple? Because he was. Wait, what the fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> <laughs> why was I even gonna answer that? <laughs> oh, what is he gonna do? Is he gonna kick the castle? Is he gonna blow up in his face? Huh? This could be a great Newgrounds animation. Oh! Mario. <laughs> it's just talking about me beating the fortress. See, Mario went the wrong way and fucking defiled some Mayan <laughs> temple while Luigi found the actual castle. He killed Reznor Jr. Meanwhile, Luigi's actually getting shit done. Look, Chocolate Island is tasty. Hey, it says that? There's so many places named after food, but I don't... It's just brown. This one isn't even brown. 